It's no secret our paychecks are buying less. And coming into an election year, the economy is proving to be a deciding issue for many voters. So what is driving inflation in the United States? The short answer, a lot. From a tight labor market at home to conflict overseas. And like new variants of COVID, economic ripple effects from the pandemic are still, well, rippling. The inflation rate so far this year is hovering around 3% below what many economists consider a high rate, but above the Federal Reserve's target of 2%. We're paying a cumulative average of about 20% more for all goods and services compared to four years ago. That is huge. It's what most of us are feeling when we go to the grocery store, pay our electricity bill or replace an appliance. It's also why when we hear that inflation is slowed, it doesn't feel like it. One major influence on inflation is a tight labor market. The unemployment level is low and there are a lot of open jobs. This combined with the great resignation, workers leaving for better jobs, meant companies offered higher wages to compete for talent. According to an analysis by the Center for American Progress, six in 10 workers have seen pay increases. Employers are pushing those costs onto consumers. Another factor, strong demand for durable goods like appliances and cars meeting with supply chain issues. During the pandemic, consumer demand shifted nearly overnight from services to goods. We were buying more stuff and going out less. After lockdowns were lifted, this dynamic abruptly shifted again. Some supply chain issues were resolved, and now we're seeing prices of durable goods going down and services going up. Today, new supply chain issues have been mounting amid a drought in the Panama Canal, the collapse of the Key Bridge in Baltimore, and even attacks on commercial vessels in the Red Sea. Another conflict impacting inflation, Russia's attack on Ukraine. The price of food and energy went up in the US and abroad. Now, if you're still with me, there is some good news. Consumer inflation is trending downward. While we aren't likely to see prices drop to pre-pandemic levels, at least they're not going to keep spiking at the same rate. Jennifer Glenfield, Scripps News, Tampa.